I think people would be interested in seeing this. Gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 53, Moving Forward. Today's episode, uh, we decided to work on two things. We wanted to work on Extract 2 in 3 time, and then the hymn in 3, 4, 4, 3, we wanted to rework the guitar ornamentation a little bit and then we wanted to start an animation which we're calling our white line animation so those are the things that we did today so I'll kind of walk through those quickly so in the uh, let's start with the hymn in 3443 if you recall we had this nice uh, guitar part we were in love with here <laughs> The trouble was we had different guitar ornamentation figures all over the place. So we went through and we made a on-the-fly line diagram, this time on our little post-it notes, and kind of rationalized and had this put the same pattern on all three uh, stanzas. And it, we like how it came out. We also went through and cleaned up the uh, dynamic uh, annotations and markings and we re-recorded the entire thing and then we put it into our full media suite animation so we're really pleased with how that came out um, it ends up playing somewhere down here somewhere down here like this <laughs> So we did that. That was that one. Regarding extract two, what's very some interesting things happen. We we had to tweak it and work on the on the chart a teeny weeny little bit because um, we had a slight incorrect way of cal or of showing what the average energy was, and we fixed that. And so if you look here, the red line comes all the way over to here. And this is where section five begins. So that that we realized that because we looked at the printout of this chart yesterday after the stream and said, wait, wait, wait a minute, it's supposed to go over there. So that got fixed. And then today we tweaked it uh, further. We decided it was sounding a little bit too long in the kind of the resolution sections. So we knocked these instead of 16 or we had 12 bars here. We we took it to six, it was 12 bars, we took it to six and six and make it sound more even. Actually, I think it was eight. And then here, we also made it look uh, similar. And what that does here is it, it just kind of makes it a slightly steeper rise right in there. And then right in there. And it sounds better. The other thing that we did is we added where these further yellow changes in dynamics and strangely enough, we took out the smoothing. Well, we readdressed the smoothing in here, and it sounded didn't sound quite right. This was like, you know, this came around, blip, blip, blip. And now it sounds a lot better, even though it has this funny little up and down roller coaster in it. And um, we'll play that for you. You'll, you'll hear that. Um, so it's, it's not always, remember, it's not always how the chart looks visually. It's also how it... We hear it orally, and we're going back and forth between the two. For example, these would look like they're very flat and monotonic, and we remarked on that in the full broadcast, and then we went and looked and said, well, actually, no, because if you look, for example, at bar 139 here, it's intro 10, which has no cadence, pattern 10, which adds the cadence, 
then pattern 11, which changes the cadence. And so all three of these, even though they have the same energy, have a different musical sound going on with them. And the same thing happens over here. So we did all that. And just, just to, for fun, we compared what it looked like with the original, which was here. So that was what we had at the end of the last stream. And you can see that we fixed the red line here. It's supposed to go all the way over and down like it does. And then we kind of gave a little roller coaster ride. There, you know, go up and then go down. And that'll keep your interest over here. So that was interesting to do. And then finally, we went and worked on animation using Extract 2. And that's what we kind of want to show you. We're calling this the white line animation. And the reason is because we started with this. You see that this is where we use our microphone to test things. There's the microphone right there. And the microphone is driving the up and down shape and uh, vertical movement and the color of this trailing three point star. And it's also driving the white line surrounding the bar. Well, what we did is we made four of these things and tie them to the music. So we're going to play that for you and then that'll take us home. Turn the mic off for just a little bit. So we're kind of pleased with how that came out. Uh, interesting things we learned doing that was um, kind of when to use a MIDI file and when to use MP3 file and a little bit of strategic prepositioning of hiding some things before they start to come into play. And, uh, and we like how it shows the, th the four parts. The four parts are the upper left is the cadence, the bottom is everything, the top right is the backbone, and the bottom right is the polyphon. So that ends today's stream. Our plans for next time, our ideas are we're going to share this with our open mic. We have that once a week. And then um, I just say to be determined. It's not like we don't have a lot of ideas to work on here. We finally got that one done today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Do come back. We appreciate your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Shout out to resident Ben Warmer, who has come back to visit this month, and Mohammed Munif. And we look forward to seeing you again. And as always, keep on streaming.